Good evening, everyone. Joe Carollo from it's all about scores.com. Uh, tonight's going to be our first, hopefully first of many of the Mike Wilson show. I have Mike here, head coach of Shallock High School. Mike, say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. All right. As you know, uh, Shallock had made the South Jersey Group One Championship, I believe, a year ago. Um, at least, in, and in my view, one of the most up and coming, not only teams, but programs in South Jersey. Mike, what's your, uh, what's your outlook on the season in general, personally? Personally, I mean, we're excited for the season. We feel with the loss of Glassboro last year, the sectional final, we have some unfinished business to take care of. So the kids have been working hard and are motivated. Um, we look good on paper, but we all know that means nothing. We got to go out and we have to get better every day and we have to take care of business. All right, great. Now, um, I'm going to be jumping ahead here a little bit. No problem. You know, we uh, and I guess we can do it this week because there's no game coming up. We can talk about, you know, the general pictures. Looking at Group 1, I mean, let's face it, the goal is to win that Group 1 championship this year. No secret. Who are the top teams in Group 1 that you believe? I've been hearing, you know, through the rumor mill, it's a two-horse race between Shallock and Glassboro. Maybe so, but it's always dangerous to, you know, discount 28 other teams. What? Uh, who do you think? Oh, I mean, I mean, like I said, if you looked on paper, yes, we have every, we have most of we have ninety nine percent of our team coming back. So does Glass Pro. So that would make sense. But doing this a long time, and we all know South Jersey Group One football. We don't know the next Jonathan Taylor if he's just going to pop out of nowhere. I mean, I don't think you could discount anybody. I don't think you could discount Salem. I don't think you could discount Woodbury. Uh, what's that? I don't think you could discount anybody. You got teams with a short conference. Like I don't think you could discount anybody. There's always a dark horse. There's always somebody you're not expecting. Um, Pennsville's up and coming. Um, they Absolutely. got better. So, like, I, I mean, you got to play the games. And that's why we do that. So, I mean, I, I mean, nobody was surprised me. So, we just got to take care of one week at a time. All right. And um, so, who are some of your major players that are going to contribute this year? Who do you look to be your leaders, uh, your playmakers? Um, you got senior quarterback and defensive back, Kanai Simmons. Um, can I transition from running back to quarterback last year? Did a very okay. nice job. Um, can I, I mean, can I just do stuff that you can't teach? Um, great, great character, great person, and a great football player. Running back Reggie Allen, he's been playing since freshman year. Uh, seniors, TJ Heimer, LJ Loney, offensive defensive line, senior Riley Papiano, senior Alec Bramble. We have a we have a senior class. We're about 18 seniors, and eight of those young men started as freshmen. Wow, that's all. Yeah, and uh, you know, I know as well as anybody working with you guys, they're uh, how you guys started back in 2020. <clears throat> excuse me, where you guys are now in 2024. This program, and this is this is credit to you and your coaching staff. How far you guys have come, and now you, you amongst other teams, are what people are talking about, and uh, it's great, well, especially with the seniors, to Joe, see them yeah. have built this thing together. Um, I mean, Joe, that's kind of the goal. I know, me, you've talked many times officially and unofficially. Right. And our goal is to build a program that we're in a conversation every year. It's high school football. You're going to have your ebbs and flows, obviously. But we want to be a program where, hey, Shalik's in the mix every year. And we have a great senior class. I mean, th those kids will be missed at the end of this year. But we have 18 juniors. We have 19 sophomores. We have 17 freshmen playing freshman football right now. So, like wow. – um. So the goal is just to keep those kids coming through, keep developing our own kids, and we'll be all right. I mean, even this year, though we're heavy with our senior class, we have we have some younger kids that are going to crack the lineup who are sophomores who deserve to be on the field because they have worked very hard to be there. And what's great about that, you know, you're you, you want to look ahead. I shouldn't do this. Looking ahead to the next year or two, you don't want to be in a situation where you're going to constantly say, "Okay, we got to rebuild again." So these guys, you'll have a lot of experience coming back. Well, and yes, and that's my job as the head football coach. I mean, my assistant, they were – and again, you got to think long-term, short-term, and in the middle. So, yeah, I mean, you want to build depth. You want to build, build kids. You want to build that. So when you're stepping on the field next year, you don't have seniors with sophomore experience. That's kind of what you want. That's what you want to avoid. You want you want to give them some real-life experience. Exactly. And, uh, you know, go, stay, Going with that, what are your what are your pros and cons this year with your team? If you had to really get a nitpicky, what would you call your strengths, your weaknesses, and anything else in between? I mean, I think our strength is our experience. We have kids who have played a lot of football games. Absolutely. So that I, you you can't replace that with anything else. I mean, some of these kids are probably close to thirty games 
before we stepped on the field this year, like 30 varsity football games. You just you can't uh, manufacture that in practice or scrimmages. Um, I mean, I think, I mean, if you want to look at our weaknesses and stuff, this, I mean, I think this is everybody's weakness. Can we stay healthy for a long season? Can we stay healthy all the way through the playoffs and everything else? And, I mean, we have worked very hard in the weight room and stuff like that. And you could say we're on the smaller size, which I don't always agree with. But, yeah, maybe our size is a little bit. But I think we make that up with our our weightlifting, our speed, and things like that. But, I mean, i got to stay healthy, Joe. I think you know that better than anybody else. Oh, absolutely. And that's in any group. I mean, I've seen group yeah. four schools lose two kids and they're yes. done for. Um, looking at something more short-term, what are some of the teams on your – immediate schedule so forget about the playoffs right now your schedule this year that really have your attention i mean you know everybody you can't discount anybody you know give me those one or two that really have your attention well i mean joe i mean this could be a coaching cliche here is but we're literally just focused on week zero battle the beach against cedar grove from north Jersey. Gotcha. on um, and that's all we've been talking about it's all we're doing um yeah we all picked at the schedule i'm sure kids circled some games i'm sure people in the media are circling games. oh i know i have yeah. <laughs> hey, um absolutely but from my end of things and keeping the program running we're literally laser focused on cedar grove gotcha so uh how about today's scrimmage i know you had a quad scrimmage today uh if you want to i know you can't say too much if you can let us in on a little bit how everything was Oh, uh, we I mean for the last four years now we've been doing a quad scrimmage with west effort lower cape may regional and mainland regional every year um, we rotate spots, so we were the host team this year, and we saw things that we liked. We saw things that we have to fix. We came out healthy. Our kids competed. They played hard. They had a great effort. They had fun playing football today. And so we'll go back to practice tomorrow morning. We'll watch the film, get better, and move on. But it was right, good awesome. And what's neat about that, you played uh, two group two schools and a group uh, four, the group four champion mainland. Yes. Uh, no, you, you can only get better by going against the big boys that you have. So I you always know. believed in scrimmaging up. Right, and, and you have. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Uh, what do you have coming up? Uh, when, when's your next scrimmage? Now, you have Cedar Grove in about 12 days. Uh, you have anything between now and then? Yeah, on Friday will be our game scrimmage at Buna. We're going to play at least a half of football over there. And then, like you said, in 12 days, we have um, Cedar Grove at Egg Harbor Township, 930 in the morning. All right, awesome. Well, we're going to finish up now. There's not a whole lot to you know, talk about at the moment. Quick question for you. It's uh, unrelated to anything we talk about. The uh, group classifications for the next two school years will be coming out uh, basically any day now. Any uh, opinion you might have on anybody dropping down somewhere, going up, not just in group one. We can go from one to five. And I mean, I mean, my thing knows, I mean, I know there's a lot of speculation on it, and I wish I saw it. I mean, for us, I know we're group one. We're solid in the middle. So I'm not like worrying about us becoming like a small group too. Right, just anybody else that you know. I mean, it's always interesting because you never know. I mean, there's some big schools in Group One. You got Pensgrove is pretty big. You have Gloucester City, who was Group One, and two years ago they got moved to Group Two. So you, I mean, you you want to look at that because yeah, we all like to look at that and stuff like that. So I think there's going to be some surprises with some schools that go up and down. Yeah, I, I always do too because uh, you know a lot of people are saying, well, I don't see much movement. I said, well, look. They don't do this every year anymore. It's every two years. So you're yes. talking about two years worth of movement. And I don't know every area in South Jersey or North Jersey for that matter. You got, you know, communities growing, communities dropping. Who knows what could happen? I think it's going to be real exciting when the NJSAA drops that in just a couple of days. Mike, I want to say thank you. Um, we'll be talking again uh, right before your Cedar Grove game. We'll go over that uh, game real quick. Um, you know, it's going to be an exciting year. And I look forward to you know, do this show and follow the Shallow Cougars from. The beginning up until that championship game and beyond joe thank you very much i appreciate no it no problem mike thank you and uh everyone else you can see this uh, tonight on it's all about scores.com just click on carullo's corner and look for the mike wilson show thanks joe. Right. mike thank you and i'll be talking to you next week thank you